My name is Dr. Tamika LaSalle, and I am an assistant professor at the University of Connecticut in the School Psychology Program. School psychologists are uniquely situated to work collaboratively within teams to support students' ability to learn and teachers' ability to teach. They engage in a wide range of direct and indirect services, including data collection and analysis, assessments, progress monitoring, looking at resilience and risk factors for students from certain groups, academic and learning interventions, mental health and behavioral interventions. School psychologists receive specialized training through coursework and practical experiences that are relevant to both education and psychology. The average PhD program takes five years. During that time, some of the coursework includes assessment, school-wide practices, family and school collaboration, diversity, professional ethics, consultation and collaboration, and early development. In addition to coursework, you will also engage in practicum experiences in K-12, hospital or clinic settings, and an internship that will be the culmination of your PhD experience. During your practicum and internship experiences, you'll work with another school psychologist at varying levels of support as you become more familiar with the roles and responsibilities as a school psychologist. Also, as a PhD student, you will be required to complete a dissertation. For your dissertation, the idea is to choose a topic of interest that is also relevant to the field and to create a study and write it up and present it at the culmination of your degree. Upon completion of your degree, you will also become credentialed by your state agency as a school psychologist. You can also become nationally certified through the National Association for School Psychologists. With a PhD from an APA approved program, you will also be eligible for licensure as a psychologist. For students considering a degree in school psychology, I have three pieces of advice. First, do your research. It's important to understand the field and to understand the impact that you can have in the field. I encourage you to look at www.nasonline.org to find out more about the roles of school psychologists and expectations. Also, I think it's important to research the programs that you're applying to because it takes a tremendous amount of commitment to enter into a PhD program. And so it's important to understand what does it mean to be a full-time student? What does it mean to be meeting the course requirements? And to be able to commit the time that it takes to complete the degree. Second, it's important to also shadow a school psychologist. I think that by doing this, you can get a greater understanding of what does it mean to be a school psychologist from a day-to-day -day basis. Although the roles change across schools, by shadowing a school psychologist, you can still get an understanding of those core job aspects that we engage in on a regular basis. Finally, as a school psychologist, I think it's important to consider your ability to work collaboratively with others. We have this paradox of school psychology where we believe that we're entering the field to work with children. That's partially true, but a lot of our impact is in, is in working indirectly with individuals to create better outcomes for students. So it's important that you can be a team player and work with other adults to help students.